Welcome to KVEST version 6. This major release introduces our brand new DVT feature which stands for Dynamic Visual Training. Using simple and powerful visual tools, DVT was designed to significantly enhance the biofeedback experience, ultimately improving client engagement and helping to make the student discovery process more fun and effective. Before we jump in and show you how DVT works, you will notice that we have a redesigned the entire user interface that introduces a new color scheme that is now more appealing to the eye. This enhancement will improve visibility both in indoor and outdoor environments. All right, let's go ahead and capture Swing so we can show you exactly how DVT works. All right, we've got Mr. DVT here loaded. He's ready to go. We've already calibrated him. And he's fired away. Now, once a swing is captured, notice we've got real-time data that now tells us how many static and dynamic movements were outside of range in the summary. So we've got this number five here. And the great thing is those five, either static or dynamic movements, are now automatically loaded down into DVT. And we're going to go there in just a moment, but as a reminder, you can still access your efficiency report, your performance graphs, and your animation playback directly from this window. Or if you want to continue capturing, it'll save that data. And once again, you can continue capturing a swing. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take these five movements and we're going to load DVT. So the great thing is with DVT now, we can see the five drills over on the left. Alignment, body turn at top, pelvis movement and impact. So we know those were the five things directly from that report. So here's the cool thing. The student now, we can change the view, let's say, of alignment. And maybe we want to go right down the line. So now we can see maybe the student was a little bit open. We've got great visuals now exactly of what square alignment is for where you calibrated the player. Okay? Once again, if we want the pelvis a little bit more open and we want to be able to set on that range, we'll stay there. We've got the new set guide live button up top. Simply click that. And now that becomes the range. Very, very simple now to be able to change ranges. You can do it with one click right on the home screen. You'll notice I brought some widgets up on the screen here. I'm just going to turn those off. And very, once again, simple to get visual representation of, of where the player is trying to go. All right. So we've got the five drills loaded. We've got body turn at top. Once again, this is showing us some dynamic ranges. So actually, this is an impact. Once again, if we want to get the client into a, a, let's say, a different impact position, a little bit more open, we can simply put them right where we want them, click Set Live, and there becomes the range, and we can take this view wherever we want, and the client can see exactly where or how much rotation you want them to have at the moment of impact. All right? Now, notice some of these icons or features up on the top left. So what these allow you to do is you can now toggle DVT on and off the screen. So if I turn DVT off, notice the rings or axes of rotation go away, and now I've got the live numbers back up on the screen. So now, if we want to get into impact, simply get the numbers within the range. DVT allows you to visually see where to position your body. So you can always go back and forth between DVT and obviously going back to just having the numbers. Now, a few people that we had in our one of our focus groups said, hey, how do we get the numbers with DVT? And what we did is we added a simple way that you can turn the numbers on and you could add the numbers to DVT. So now as they're rotating, you can actually see those numbers. So numbers just simply toggles the numbers on and off the screen for whatever drill you're working on. You can always access, you can always access those numbers. Very, very simple. Now the torso and the pelvis feature here, I want to show you that real quick. What that does is it simply filters the below drills by pelvis and torso. So if you're with a player right now and you just want to train the pelvis, simply turn off the torso. These are all three now pelvis drills. If we want to just work on the torso, we just turn off the pelvis. And now these are all three torso drills. So very, very simple to go from segment to segment or work on full body. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you at the top of the swing was being able to work on multiple axes at the same time. This is pretty cool. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to have the player go ahead and swing to the top of their backswing. And I'm going to set guide live here on exactly where he is. Now notice if the player goes into flat shoulders, you'll notice that the blue ring is coming out of the side bend metric. If we get back in it, you'll notice we get the tone. Let's say the player goes into reverse spine angle. Notice he's now coming out of the bend plane. So the cool thing is, when you get your player into the correct top of backswing position wherever you want them, now you can just set guide live, they can go back down to address, and they can swing back to the top, and all they have to do is bring those two green shaded ranges together. Now you know you're working on bend and side bend correctly. Really, really simple visuals. You'll also notice there's some, as he continues to do that, there's some views that you may, lay, may like better than others. Once again, the V key simply allows you to change the views to whatever you would like. Once again, if you want to bring the numbers up as he's doing it, you can do that as well. And now we're training that same movement, but we're also getting the metrics over on the right. Pretty simple. So that's as simple as DVT is. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you is if we go home and we go to Biofeedback Manager and we create a new program, we've also simplified this experience as well. We're going to come down to Full Swing Drills as an example, and we're going to go to Address Drills. Notice there's a lot fewer drills now or exercises uh, in the Biofeedback Manager, and that's because these are now all full body drills. There's not an alignment for the pelvis, alignment for the upper body, and alignment for full body. There's just one alignment. So what happens now is we, if we want to load, let's just say a few of these drills, and we want to launch this program, it's on for both segments. But now that you're in here, if you want to just work on the pelvis, we'll just turn the torso off, and there's pelvis alignment. There's pelvis posture, forward bend. Very simple. There's advanced posture working on bend and side bend at address. So if we want to just get on the torso now, we can turn the pelvis off, and there's all our upper body full swing drills at address. So these filters here, we have less drills in the biofeedback manager, so they're easier to get to, but now you can just filter the segments over on the left and the right. Hopefully these are some helpful tools to get up, help you get up and running with KVS 6.0. Uh, this release will be going out over the next couple of weeks, and we look forward to getting your feedback and really hope you enjoy the new experience.